Hey, it's been a while since I did a normal review of sorts, since people seem to want that. My channel makes no sense to me. Before, when I did nothing but reviews, people scream, Do build videos. Doing build videos. Now people scream, Do reviews. You just can't make people happy in this community of Gunpla, I've come to realize. Well, basically, yeah, I know, it's days behind. It's the full mechanics Gundam Barbatos Lupus. It's the full mechanics kit that has been converted by the Extreme Squad resin kit. This is the refined version. And frankly, to be real with you, the resin kit ain't bad, in all honesty. I am glad that they left the option open to use the original eyes from the full mechanics version of the Barbatos, which gave me the freedom to make a clear copy so that I could put LEDs in the head. Because everybody wants LEDs these days. While building this kit, I remember one of the many complaints I would see in my comment section. He only does clean builds. He never does any weathered builds. Boring. And it's like, oh, eat me. Do better than me. Then come back. So I figured, what the hell? Why not? I'll do a weathered build. And frankly, I didn't mind it at all. And see, the reason why I don't do weathered builds often is because I don't care. You know, when I used to get paid to weather people's stormtrooper suits, I guess I got burnt out. <laughs> You know, you try and weather a full body armor and make it look realistic as if it's actually sat in a sand dune for 20 years. And you do that for a couple years of your life. You get tired of looking at pastels and powders. But I figured why not? The lupus is a perfect candidate for weathering. So I started doing a whole lot of new techniques. It's one thing to weather something that's life size, but then to scale it down to a Gundam model kit and then try and make it look realistic to the scale, it's like just on, on a whole other level. Like I already knew it would be hard because I've seen and I watch a lot of like uh, Warhammer painters. I take a lot of cues from the army and military spec painters that do trucks and jets and tanks. Like those guys somehow managed to make these 187 scale tanks or whatever look real it's absolutely crazy how photorealistic they can get it a gundam on the other hand doesn't have the luxury of actually existing so you can't really hunt down a gundam that's been in battle or a mobile suit in general and apply what you see to your model kit you have to go to like a, a jet place you know like those historic museums that focus solely on birds of prey and war jets so you got to go there take photos and look at things I was also using these new water-based weathering pencils by AK, I believe. I can't remember. And it probably wasn't featured in the build video. The build videos are so scaled down. Like literally it is days, weeks, or months of footage, which counts to hundreds of hours. And between me and the second editor, we cut that down to literally 10 to 20 minutes. So a lot of nuance is lost, I would say. It is what it is. It has to be some sort of bite-sized bit of footage for people to watch. Otherwise, they're not really interested because people have a very low attention span these days. Basically, my goal with this kit was to make it look really good standing because that's all it can do. The full mechanics line of Gundam model kits or Gunpla, whatever you prefer to use, isn't that great at all. Like, it is really just... A big goose egg in my opinion but at the time it launched it was the only option iron blood fans had to get a model kit of anything from ibl it's a good thing that bandai finally did a master grade of the barber toast but really it surprises me it took them that long for an anime that was as popular as it was it, it i don't know if anybody else thinks it's weird they wait so long sometimes it's actually ridiculous but now they're trying to get ahead of the game by putting out that seed model kit. I don't even remember the name of it before the anime and movie even comes out. Weird how that got a master grade. Like, for real. Like, honestly, we don't know anything about it. We just know it's in the seed universe. And they do a master grade of that. But why not, I don't know, a master grade XE? I want that. But I want the original design of the XE. The new design I do not care for. Anyway, back to uh, the video. Uh, it was just a lot of painting and weathering. Uh, I skipped oils and went with enamels because it would be a quicker result with the painting. And as always, I'm on a time schedule. When people say something about uh, blah, 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 he's not that good a builder. He doesn't do any custom crap. Remember, I work on four channels plus a live stream on Twitch. Plus, I guest star in people's podcasts. 
and I have a lot of sponsorships to answer to. Keep that in mind when you're trying to make me look like crap and realize I probably do more than most people in my position. Hell, probably more than you. I'm not in the mood to kiss anybody's ass anymore. Screw it. <laughs> you know, it's like getting roasted by someone who's probably picking their ass all day is ridiculous. I was using a lot of MIG paints for the streaking and weathering. I highly recommend them. Oddly enough, MIG isn't carried in America. But then again, you know, a lot of the good model hobby stuff is always overseas. Always. But it's a good thing for New Type HQ, in my personal opinion. Whether you like them or not, I know a lot of people seem to be weirdly loyal to certain Gumpla vendors, which makes zero sense to me, but whatever gets you through the day. If it wasn't for New Type HQ, a lot of the stuff we're seeing today would not exist, and I know I was buying Gumpla kits before New Type HQ got big. Like, buying resin kits before was a pain in the ass. Getting specialized sanding sticks and paints was a pain in the ass. It's still a pain. I have to pay a, a premium to get MIG paints. It's ridiculous. Hopefully somebody carries the stuff soon. Or maybe not. I mean, frankly, it's like a sort of... The people who are interested in this are going to get it. Any way you slice it. They're going to do the research. They're going to look at what they need or what they can use it for. And they're going to hunt it down. The casuals will wait until the vendor gets it and then complain, possibly. Who the hell knows? This is probably a part that didn't make it into the uh, video either. It's me airbrushing in extra dirt details. And then I remove them with a water bait, just with water and a brush. Because under the paint details is a water soluble, I believe the term is. A spray that breaks down under the paint. So that way you get it. It's like you spray the stuff first. You let it dry, then you put your paint on top. You let it dry, and you take out your brush, and you just remove it. It's like, almost like a reverse wash, if you will, but for dirt. It's the best way I could e explain it, honestly. And that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, God, I didn't even review it. I talked more about the paint process. So whatever, we'll call it a review slash paint process. The people who care will watch. The people who don't will dislike it and say I suck. And that's uh, how the game is played, baby. Uh, point being... This kit, after you put the resin kit on it, it's not a poser. It's not. Um, as I said before, the full mechanics, Barbatos, sucks. The inner frame blows. It's not stable. The joints will definitely sag. So you're going to need to get some sort of stuff to put inside of there. Believe it or not, I am using gun primers, uh, joint papers. I can't remember what they're called, but they're like these little sticks of these little sheets of paper you put on the joints. In like an X or something, believe it or not, it works. It works better than putting glue in there and waiting till it dries and stuff like that. This is actually great. I put it in and haven't had any issues and it's been, what, a month? So it's pretty impressive. So I'd recommend them for ball joint model kits if you wanna see a bit more of a connection that stays solid and in place. Overall, like, uh, there's nothing I could say. You know, the full mechanics body sucks. The resin kit's decent though. The quality's pretty good. Not too much cleanup work. The instructions are acceptable. It's what you just the standardized resin instructions. I can't really say much about it. Oh, there is a bit of warping, but that seems to be the case of a lot of resin kits. It's only like really high-end resin kits you don't see warping. Like I have yet to mess with the Li Jiao land kit that had the level of warping I saw here. And that could be a real pain in the ass trying to fix it. Uh, I used a heat gun, overdid it. Be careful of heat guns. Not only can you burn yourself, but you can really turn this stuff into linguini, basically. But when it comes to <laughs> overall, when it comes to visual aesthetics, I would say the Extreme Squad resin kit is my favorite Barbatos kit so far. It's beautiful. It's great to look at. If you really want a lupus Barbatos, this might be your only option currently. We all know Bandai is going to put out the lupus and the lupus rex for this kit when who knows genuinely who knows with bandai like the stuff is right there don't sit there because i see people all the times i talk about this uh bandai will put out the lupus rex soon uh, cut it out bandai literally has everything it needs to make a leo master grade out of the tall geese one and they haven't done it how many years has it been it's literally a part swap and they do it all the time don't hold your breath. It might come. It might not come. Now don't sit there and 
pray to whoever the hell's in charge. Like, uh, Majin Kawaguchi, I pray to you. That's why I did this, because I just wanted a lupus. Should have gave it a tail, but, you know, I didn't have time to really customize it. But I like the kit. I think it came out great. I think the weathering came out pretty good. I'm not disappointed in it, at the least. I mean, there's more I could have done, but time constraints. It's nice to do something outside of your usual area. Just to prove people. Just to prove to people, just because I don't do something, doesn't mean I can't. I'm the worst guy to underestimate, trust me. Ask my ex-girlfriends.